So if you were like me growing up, uh, content creation was always something that you kind of wanted to be a part of. It was a scene that everybody was looking forward to, to either joining or to just kind of escaping their, you know, their school life, their work life, etc. The four leaders of that was FaZe Clan. FaZe Clan was everybody's dream to join the Phase 5 challenges, the old Phase recruitment challenges. You had a lot of people in peak MW2 and Black Ops 2 days fanboying them, making spoof accounts, etc., trying to be in Phase, right? But over the years, it's kind of evolved. We saw, we've saw we seen them go to IRL content. We've seen them go to uh, big esports teams, etc. But one thing that they decided to not do properly is they run their own organization. Their whole like aspect was bringing the best of the best to FaZe Clan. Whether that was the best content creators, the best esports players, the best Rocket League players, the best Call of Duty players, etc. That was their goal until they went corporate. Last year, they, they went on the market. They, they became an actual company, let alone an esports organization. And I'm not trying to diss esports organizations. I know they are real companies as well. I'm just saying that they are a f now a tradable company on the stock market, right? But if we, if we take a look at said stock, you will see that since their release... August 1st of uh, 2022, they were at $19 a share, and now they're down to 39 cents, which is a very drastic, if you know anything about stocks, it's a very drastic decline, almost a crypto decline. But why, why is that? Why are they declining? Well, it's because a lot of their cores and basic values are speaking up against them. One of their biggest talents and actually co-owners of FaZe is, is phase rain and if you guys have been following this channel for longer than like five years you would know that phase rain was actually my inspiration to kind of do all of this and even though i may have my own feelings on phase rain currently he kind of went through it by battling drug addiction and not being able to walk but through all this you would think that because he was in phase and because he was dealing with all this that his people in phase would back him up well quite the opposite they kicked him out of the house they did all of these horrible things and a lot of friends that well, a lot of people that phase ring considered friends that we considered to be phase Rain's friends were actually not his friends at all for example phase adapt if you guys remember adapt and rain back in the day they were like brothers well adapt kind of sold his soul to the corporate phase i'm saying and they're and he kind of took the corporate side instead of taking Rain's side, which is horrible. Rain was the one that kind of led the charge. And as Rain usually does, he's usually the entrepreneur and forefounder of a lot of groundbreaking things. And this is no exception. He was one of the first ones to speak up against FaZe. And with that came a couple other FaZe members. The second one that came up that's pretty noticeable is FaZe Blaziken or FaZe Blaze. Um, again, we kind of had a little bit of a fall off here. Phase Bla Blaze, uh, 334k views compared to your, you know, 2.1 mil, 1.9 mil, 2.7 mil, etc. Stuff like that. It's okay. I still love you, bro. Kind of. Um, but he also had a little talk about Phase Clan. You guys can go check out the whole video here. But... The point of the matter is FaZe Clan being this multi-billion dollar, billion dollar, absolutely not, billion view company and, and multi-millionaire, you know, provider um, is corporate. They always preached content creation first, creators first. But then they go and sign Little Yachty and Snoop Dogg. Um, I think... Uh, FaZe Blaziken even states that Snoop Dogg and his son make more money than the content creators over in FaZe, which is ridiculous in my opinion. Because you know what F Snoop Dogg does? He wears a FaZe Clan chain and goes FaZe up. That's all he does. He makes no content for FaZe. But I think the most damning one of them all that has come out is FaZe Tico. FaZe Tico is one of the OG members of FaZe. One of the, as far as I can remember when FaZe first launched back in the day when I was watching them, like way, like I'm talking about when I was like 15, right? 
he was always there. And he, again, has fallen victim to corporate FaZe. He has been in the company for 12 years. He has been with FaZe Clan for 12 years. And he gets paid the same amount as an assistant, as a corporate management assistant. Really let that sink in. One of your top content creators for the past 12 years is getting paid the same salary as someone who's an assistant to someone in the corporate office. That's ridiculous to me. But FaZe wants to preach content first. Now, I've been a FaZe fanboy for a very long time, right? A very, very long time. I'm literally using the FaZe Clan Naruto collab as a mouse pad right there, as you can see. But I'm really starting to lose my faith in them because they are not giving back to the creators that built FaZe Clan for what it is. And honestly, I don't know what Tommy Temper is doing, what FaZe Temper is doing, but if he is not sticking up for his content creators, then he is probably the one that needs to step down and kind of, because he was the one that preached all this, right? He was the one that came out who was the OG, one of the OG creators of FaZe with House Cat, et cetera. But he's not doing anything. He went corporate as well. We're seeing FaZe do these big corporate brand deals, Champion, Nike, DoorDash, et cetera. Tico got paid nothing to appear in a photo shoot for FaZe, which you might think, Oh, but he's in phase, right? He gets paid nothing for a photo shoot. Nothing. And he's a top talent. You have companies like 100 Thieves that give back to their content creators who actually invest in the gaming world. Like High Ground. Not sponsored, by the way. If you want to sponsor me, please do. So, safe to say, Face Clan is really falling down. But the thing that I just want to close on is whether you're a FaZe fanboy or you're not a FaZe fan anymore or you've never been a FaZe fan anymore, the point is the only way an esports organization is if the content creators come first. We've seen the success of Moist Esports. We've seen the success of 100 Thieves. That is because the content creators come first, right? I think the final big slap to the face that I think FaZe Clan stated is Tico's video has come out and I think 12 hours or i think at the time of making this video 24 hours ago right he talked about content creators coming first face clan for a slap in the face goes ahead and they tweet this content kings and it's i think that's I, their face people that's scump obviously i think that's attach right content kings well, with all that being said is the face talent to blame absolutely not nick Merck's probably has no clue what's going on in the background swag uh nuke squad probably has no idea what's going on in the background correct however what i want to hear is i want to hear a statement from banks i want to hear a statement from temper i want to know what the fuck is actually going on because before that happens phase isn't going up phase is going down